In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at the special effects related to weather, rain, fog, lightning, clouds, and snow. What I have in my first track is an image of a river in the fall, rather dark, rather brownish. And then I have another image, another video. This is of a winter scene, so we're going to look at that with the snow effect. So I'll go ahead and uh, begin at the very first part and then we'll apply these to these two video clips. To take any of the effects, you go to the effect room, which is your F4 key or FX on the left side. And then I've chosen the subdivision called particles. We're going to click on cloud and fog and force lightning and two other kinds of lightning and two types of snow. And what I've done is I've taken these effects and, and I have moved them to my effects track below these two images. So we'll go ahead and close that down. And now when I start to play my movie, we'll see how the effects work. The first one I have selected here is the one, let's click on movie here, is the one called rain. Now rain isn't too bad. It, looks a little bit uh, normal here. I'm going to pause that for a second and show you what you can change about it. If I double click on the effect I can change the density of the rain and the direction. The default is 100 which is pretty much straight down. If I move it to the right it blows to the right with increasing frequency or to the left. Let's change the density a little bit. Uh, and this is all you can do. So I'll click on the uh, the X to close that and we'll go ahead to the beginning of the clip and we'll play that again. And there's what I have in terms of rain and density. Not bad. Almost looks like it's like it's real. I like that one for realism. The next one we're going to look at is fog. So I took my fog special effects, put it on the effects track below the movie, and let's see what fog looks like. That's not too bad. I wish you could combine the effects and put one on top of another, but we only have one effects track and I can't do that. How can you change fog? Well, we'll double click on it. We can change the speed of the fog and the direction of the fog. Let me slow it down a little bit. And uh, let's, uh, let's change the direction for fun. You can also change the 3D depth, but I'm not in the 3D mode here. So I'll move back to the beginning of my clip and we will play the fog. There's a slightly more subdued, maybe that's a little more realistic. So fog isn't too bad. I like rain and fog is okay. So we're going to go ahead and pause this and now let's look, I'm going to move the scrubber over here. We're going to look at lightning. Lightning is not quite as impressive in my book. If I click here, there's my lightning. And I find that a little fakey. If you double click on lightning, there's a few things you can change. You can change the size. You can change the location, the X off, uh, X and the Y. And that's about it. You can move it up or down. Of course, you don't want it to start at the bottom. So you can actually move it off the screen. And uh, let's see what this looks like when we uh, go back to the beginning of this clip and try the lightning. I'm not too impressed by that, but that's what that one is. Okay, now we have a lightning number two. We'll move over here and play it. This is a little bit more realistic, although it's it's uh, quite large. Let me double click on this. You can change the core color. You can change the glow color. I don't see lightning in blue a lot, so I'm just going to maybe pick a almost a gray here for my other color. You can change the position, and this is where you can do the start and the stop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it start way off the screen and just ba barely touch the screen. I can do that. 
And then I'm going to uh, change the glow size, knock that down a bit. I like the thunder flash. Uh, we can do the emit interval, we'll make it a little less. I don't know what shin time is, to be honest with you. So we'll change those and see what we get here. See if it looks a little bit more like real lightning. And I'll click the... Okay. And there's that thunder flash that you have, which is nice. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That was a little bit more realistic, but it still looks a little fakey in my, in my eyes. So you might want to use this judiciously. You can actually turn it down and just use the thunder flash part, uh, which probably would be more realistic. The next one is called forced lightning. And uh, I don't find much use for this at all. This reminds me of a scene from uh, <laughs> uh, Star Wars where the Emperor is going after uh, Luke Skywalker. But if you want to use this in some kind of situation, you can change the position of it. Again, you can move the dot and it'll change it. And it can come out of anywhere you want. We'll put it up in the upper right corner here. And the direction range, the length, the branch decay, how fast it does, the number of branches, the ratio. Um, so you can go ahead and do all kinds of things with that one. It's got a lot of variations, but I don't know if it's all that useful. It'd be more of a sci-fi thing, I believe, if you wanted to use it in that environment. Uh, the next one we have is cloud. And here we have our cloud, our little rain cloud with lightning. Um, I don't find this very realistic. You can change the location with the X and Y. We can bring it up. We can move it to the left. You can change the size of the cloud to something pretty small to something larger. Um, but in terms of realism, I don't find the cloud all that helpful. Uh, it looks uh, <laughs> very fake here. But you might use it where you want a fake cloud. Let's look at the last two weather effects. The next one is snow. And here we have our snow coming down. Again, it, it doesn't look uh, realistic to me, but there, I found one way to make it a little better. If I double click on snow and I turn the size down very small, two or three, and back here, two or three. Let's see if I can get it smaller. Uh, Okay, so it's a, I've got a three density, and uh, let's change the density down a little bit too. And then I'll uh, close that. So now we'll go ahead to the beginning of this clip. We'll play it again. And I've got just a, a trace of snowflakes here. And in this case, it looks, it looks like uh, it might be real. Now, that's the first kind of snow and you can go ahead and play with that all you want. The second kind is definitely not realistic. When I get to snow number two, uh, it is my uh, very close up of the flakes. And that's why I put a red background here. This is the kind of situation where I would use this kind of snow because we all realize it's not flakes, but it is a holiday-ish, winter-ish accent that I would use in front of a color board or an advertisement or something like that. So th this is a summary of the weather effects in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.